Hello Vault Dwellers and welcome back to another Fallout Cookbook cooking video. Today I'm going to be doing Dusty's Brahmin Burgers from the cookbook. Sorry about the glare there. They look really good and I do like a good pretzel bun. So let's get in here and figure out what kind of ingredients they're using to make this. So to start off, it's actually a really simple recipe. I've got a pound of ground bison or you can also use a pound of just plain ground beef. And the recipe just says to add salt and pepper to it and then shape it into burgers. I'm actually gonna go off the recipe and add a few other ingredients to it just because I like things in my burgers. So that should be enough salt and pepper. But I'm actually going to add in one diced jalapeno as well as I have um, some leftover bacon from another recipe that I'm working on right now. And I just chopped up two pieces or two slices of bacon and I'm just going to add it in to the meat. And that's it. I'm just I'll go in here and mix all this in and then we'll get this divided into four hamburgers and get them fried up. Remember, try not to overmix your meat so it doesn't end up being dry. But you do want to make sure you get everything well incorporated in. All right, that feels about right. Now what I try to do when I'm going to divide out hamburgers and I want to get them as equal as possible, I will spread out the meat and then I just go through and divide it in the bowl. And that should give me four equal hamburger patties. And I do want to try and get these a little bit bigger than my bun to allow for shrinkage when it cooks. So there we go. It looks pretty good. Not quite round, but eh, that's okay. Now I'm going to put this over in my pan. While I'm getting these last two shaped up, let me remind you of the community driven playlist that Japica Death and I have going on in our channels. If you would like to be a part of that, it's quite simple. All you need to do is make a cooking video and post it to your channel. And then once you've done that, let either Japica or I know in the comment section of either our latest cooking videos or if you are a part of his Discord server, you can go over there as well and let us know. So there we go. I think those are going to be good. Let me go ahead and get these last two over in the pan and I will move you guys over to my stove. Alright guys, while the burgers are starting to cook, I'm going to go ahead and toast up my pretzel rolls just because I like my hamburger buns toasted. It doesn't say to do that in the recipe, so if you want to leave that section out, you can go right ahead and do that. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and just heat them up in my pan. And I just spread a little bit of mayonnaise on them, and that's what I'm going to use to toast them up. I've already got my pan over here started. So I will turn it up a little bit more. And then once I get the buns warmed up and toasted, I'm going to put my onions in here and grill those up. Well, not technically not grill them up, but I'm going to cook them down in my pan. And the recipe does say to grill your onions out on your grill. So again, 
if I had my grill hooked up, I would be cooking outside today. So let me turn those down. I don't want them to burn. I do like to add a little bit of salt to the outsides of my hamburgers, but that, you know, option is totally up to you. I'm going to add my onions to this pan over here now, and I'm just going to lightly cook them. I'm not going to cook them for too long, just enough to kind of soften them up a little bit and get a little bit of that raw onion taste out. I'm not a huge fan of raw onion. Our burgers are looking really good. Not quite that brown on that side yet. But these are almost done. Try not to squish your hamburgers down. It'll push all the juices out of the center and end up giving you a dry hamburger in the end. The other thing I'm going to do, I like my tomatoes grilled on my hamburgers, so I'm just going to go ahead and out stick my uh, tomatoes in here as well. You can skip this step if you if you want to. If you like your tomatoes cold and uh, on yours, you know, do it that way. Totally fine. But I am trying to make these the way my family likes them, as well as the way the recipe said to do them. At this point, my hamburgers are done cooking, and all I'm going to do now. Well, maybe if I can cut my cheese in half here, it's just lay some cheese, uh, sharp cheddar cheese over these, and I'll put my lid on. I've already turned my heat off, but I'll put my lid on and let these melt. And then once it's melted, we'll get them served up. Alright, as you can see, well, maybe our onions are done ouch, and hot, but they are just slightly caramelized around the edges, which is what I was looking for, but they're still holding together. Alright guys, to get started um, assembling our hamburgers, I'm going to start with the Nuka-Cola barbecue sauce that I made in the vegetarian meatloaf recipe. I will leave a link to it down in the description as well as a link to the Nuka-Cola syrup recipe which is part of the base of this uh, barbecue sauce. And it simply goes on the bottom and it's said to be generous with it so that looks pretty good. Go ahead and do two of them for you. There we go. And then on the top, we want mayonnaise. Not quite that much mayonnaise, but there we go. And then the next thing we will add is a slice of butter lettuce break it up a little bit as well as let me grab a fork real quick a slice of our onion that I grilled up I'm just gonna do one I don't like a lot of onion on my hamburgers but on this one I think I'm gonna add uh, two of them There we go. And then next we can place our patty down. And top it with the grilled tomatoes that I did. And there we go. Oh, 
All right, let me move these over to a plate for you. All right, guys, here we go. I've got it all plated up for you. I've got our Dusty's Brahmin Burger served alongside of the baked pork and beans from the Fallout Cookbook, as well as a roasted potato salad that I made earlier today. All right, guys, if you like this video, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as the Fallout Cookbook playlist. I will leave links down in the description to both of those. And let me know what you guys think of this recipe. Are you going to try it out? And if you do, let me know how it turned out for you. But for now, thank you for joining me. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.